Hi, James here. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial, but hopefully I'm going to start getting back into doing more of these. Today is kind of an experiment and I'm going to do the pro version and I'm going to do the standard version. So this is the pro version. If you're looking for the standard version, that's somewhere on my channel. And today, what I'm going to be looking at is how to go from one color to another on an object in Toon Boom Animate Pro. Now, a lot of people try to do this with the color scale and really the color scale is not designed for this at all. The color scale is really designed to change the tinting of an entire scene as opposed to changing the color of one object. And there's a much simpler way of doing a single object and I'm going to show you how to do that today. And it's not complicated at all. So first I'm just going to make a color card with a sort of a black on a 50% grey background and I just like working on that background and I'm going to simply draw a circle doesn't really matter what I mean this is just an example of what you could use and I'll move it somewhere into the center so it's on my left there and I'm just going to paint it red and now we're going to make this red circle change to a green circle. So let's just rename this layer. Rename it as a red circle and we'll duplicate it. And drag it onto the top and we'll make it a green circle. So I'm going to repaint this. Make sure that your paint tool property is set to paint or repaint and not just paint unpainted because otherwise it won't change to green. Now the idea is we want to over say 60 frames we're going to change it from the red to the green. So I click on both frames at about 60 press F5 to extend the exposure. Now you're going to want to add a transparency effect to the green circle. So we go over to our network view and I'm just going to use a script up here which comes with animate to, re to set the hierarchy out of these neatly. So we're going to go to our module library and I'm going to grab a transparency effect. And what you do is you unplug the green circle from the composite and plug it into the transparency and plug the transparency into the composite. So now the green circle is affected by the transparency. So now we can go back to the camera and you'll see that it's now 50% transparent so you can sort of see this color that's a mixture of red and green. So make sure your animate button is on and you can use this button out here to expand so you can see the value. And on the first frame I'm going to make it 100% transparent. So now we can see our red circle. I'm going to go to the last frame of our animation, set it to zero. And now we have a fade from red to green. If you picked two colors that were closer, you wouldn't get that into beaming color here. It's basically because we're mixing two primary colors here and that's the way that it works. Now if you're doing a character, I'd recommend animating your character first, then duplicating it, and then using this process. So I wouldn't worry about changing the colors until you've actually done your animation, just because it's a simpler thing to do, because you're going to have two copies of your object, one, you know, your red, one, your green, or whatever color you, scale you decide to use. So I shouldn't use the word in color scale, color change. So hopefully this has helped you and you can see a nice simple method for doing this.